Hi, welcome to Holly DTV. I'm so glad that you're joining us. You're probably wondering what all of this, all these things are on my table. I'm about to talk about what to have in your emergency kit for your wedding. And I am excited to show you. Please stay tuned. So every wedding I've been to, I, you have needed one thing or another throughout the day. And not maybe not every wedding you need everything, but it's always good to be safe than sorry. That's what an emergency kit is for. So as you know, emergency kits always have band-aids and all that cleaning stuff. So you always wanna have this. This is one of the items I have seen used several times, either a cut or something like that. You always need it. So that's like self-explanatory. You always want, I love this little saying, but happiness is a freshly manicured nail. And you always wanna have these just in case you always get a hangnail, something might break, you wanna like file it down. So you always wanna have this. So I notice a lot of brides don't eat before the wedding and you really need to, at least something small because you don't wanna be hangry. You know, you wanna be happy on your wedding day. And so please eat a little something. Say that that day comes up, that once a month comes up and you know, your stomach is kind of hurting. This is a great way to have a heating pad without it being noticeable. So I would suggest this one. Always have tissue. You're gonna be crying different parts of the days, have tissue. I always actually suggest having a piece of the tissue, one, one piece of tissue around your bouquet as you're walking down the aisle because sometimes that's when you get a little bit emotional. So you want to have that accessible. You have it on your bouquet and all of a sudden you have it in your hand and then go back. No one will even really notice. Um, another thing is a sewing kit. I have been to a wedding, <laughs> it's crazy. I've been to a wedding where literally like 10 minutes before the wedding is about to start, the bridesmaid leans over and her whole dress in the back rips down the back. No one noticed it and then I was wondering like, are they gonna fix that? Like what's going on? Do they know about this? So I was like, do you guys know about the rip in her back? And they're like, oh my gosh, they started freaking out. But then what was great is I had my sewing kit with me and they're able to sew her in there, even though it didn't look, you know, as professional as it did beforehand, it's good that they had it or else you would have been walking down the aisle in this big rib dress. So I always have these. Um, scissors, every single wedding I use scissors to either cut off some pieces of string or some pieces of um, you know tags or something that you have on, always have uh, these. If you are more of an oily based person, I would say have these oil observant sheets. They really help you out with uh, oil needs, especially for <laughs> especially for when I'm photographing you and it's maybe a hot day and you're like a little sweaty. It won't absorb all of your makeup that you have on if you dab. It's really good for that, so I would suggest these. Um, this is really interesting. No one ever thinks of this. Having a crocheting needle. So. You, you're like, what is this for? So say if you have a dress that has a lot of buttons down the back and we're there at the day, we're trying to button you in, everyone has nails, right? And it's really hard to get the buttons on. So you could be spending an hour on buttoning up your whole dress. So what this does is it goes in and it brings the um, button right into the dress of the, the little button part. So it's really, really handy. This will take you from an hour to like 15 minutes. Really, really good to use. Um, also Advil, that's self-explanatory. You wanna have that if you're not feeling well. This is great. This is uh, some tape, double-sided tape. I actually got this from Pinch. It's really great. They have um, all these really cute little items that you might need. But this uh, double-sided tape, if your dress flies up, it's really good for if you're uh, on a windy day, especially if your dress will fly up and you don't wanna flash everyone. So it's good to have that down. Also, you don't wanna be kissing your new husband with bad breath. So take one of these before you walk down the aisle. So when you give him a kiss, he's like, oh, this is refreshing.
Also, you might forget your toothbrush. This is really good for brushing your teeth. Of course, it doesn't do the full job, but it's an emergency, remember? Um, if you're eating on the wedding day, also having this little toothpick is really good. Uh, always wanna smell good. So have this in case you forget your actual perfume. I always suggest bringing your cute perfume for photos, so that is actually what I would prefer, but this is always good just in case, having one of those. Um, feminine needs. You always want um, some nail polish, some clear nail polish. If you're wearing stockings, it's really good for if you tear your stockings, you use this to make sure it doesn't split anymore down. Also, it's good for your nails, say if you chipped them or something like that, you can put this over it after you use the, the manicure set. Now, um, I'm sure that you saw in another episode where I told the story about the girl that had the lady dress. Well, this is really good for, for that. This is what we use. We use this, it's amazing, it's magic. So we use this as well as um, uh, for that incident, but also if you have a stain, so I would suggest having this. Also, nail polish remover, have that. Um, this is great. I know you're gonna have your hair and makeup professionally done, please do that. But after you do that, um, maybe we do a first look and you're take, we're taking photos and it's windy or something and all your curls didn't stay. Well, say that the, the you know makeup and hair artist already left and you wanna touch up. This is really great to have just in case if you wanna do those touch up like items. So I would suggest having this. Um, these are really good. There's two different, or well, actually three different si sizes, but two different styles. Um, these are really good for if we're taking photos in the, um, you know, the grass or some dirt or something like that. Yes, don't be scared. Don't be scared. You're gonna have a good time. You're gonna get amazing photos. Don't forget, you want those amazing photos that will last a lifetime. So I would suggest wearing these down the aisle if it's you know outside or even um, when we're taking photos. But make sure that you get the right size for your heel because there's these like really really wide ones and there's these really really thin ones. So when you're buying them, make sure you're buying them according to your your shoe size and the size of your you know heel. This one is really good. Please get something that's comfortable for your shoes. Maybe your shoes are comfortable already, but if you're trying them on, walk on them for about a day to make sure that you're actually able to survive the wedding day because that's how long you're gonna wear them for is the whole day. So if, if you do wear them the whole day and you love them so much and they hurt like crazy, get some of these, they're really good. Don't put them in though until after I take the shoe shots, the detail shoe shots because it won't look really pretty if you have these amazing shoes and then you have this really, you know, interesting looking style that might not go with the style you're looking for. So put this on after. Then, um, since we're talking about shoes, I have this really cool little kit. So say if you wanna go on the dance floor and you really don't wanna wear your shoes, these are really good for emergency. I would suggest buying some that are the ones that you really like, but if, say if you forget them for some reason. These are really good, um, really accessible, and you can wear them, you can bring them anywhere. It's really easy. I love them. They're by Dr. Scholl's. You can get them at Target or like Walmart or something like that. So I would suggest that. Then I have three more items. <laughs> Deodorant, we, you know, you don't wanna be dancing and then <laughs> no one wants to be dancing next to you and you kind of smell or something. You know, hopefully you don't, just, you know, just saying. Then for um, hair, you wanna have this in case of a windy day. It's, um, it's hairspray. You wanna make sure that all your hair stays in place. I'm sure that the, the hairstylist is gonna be like, shh, you know, making sure it looks good and really staying, but just in case, I would just bring it. Then say if uh, you want your dog or something at your wedding and you have all this dog hair and stuff, and it's amazing, you know, dog, you love him so much, but he might shed, so this is a great item to bring. You can just do this before the wedding or after the wedding, whenever you have it, but then you won't have all that hair on you. Now, you won't probably believe this, but I pretty much fit all of these items in here, except for like this one and this one and this one, but, I got this from Victoria's Secrets. Actually, I didn't get it. My, my um, best friend got it for me from Victoria's Secrets as a gift, and it was actually a bridesmaid gift. 
And it was really sweet of her. I really like it. But all of these items fit in here and this makes up your emergency kit. So I would suggest going out and getting these items before the wedding. Um, on my blog, I actually have a list of the items, but you can also see, I will show a photo later on of what these actually, what it actually looks like as a whole. So then you can have a reference. Um, I hope this helps and um, I always use these items. I'm always trying to help my brides and grooms out with these items. So I hope this helps you and I can't wait for you to <laughs> come on the next show. Please click the little, um, the little link below to go to my blog, but also please click it to subscribe and click the little uh, bell. And I am excited that you're here and I can't wait to show you more.